black criminals are always the juicier story to Euro-American media newsrooms and the U.S. justice system, while whites are innocent until proven guilty. And it's not just Mr. Vic in the NFL. Again, everybody knows who Adam Pacman Jones is because sports media, and keep in mind, sports is where a vast majority of blacks appear on television and other media, salivate over black offenders while empathizing and sympathizing with white criminals, led by warden Roger Goodell of the aforementioned NFL. While Goodell has made a point to severely punish all black criminals in his league just as his cohorts in the U.S. justice system and U.S. police departments do, he has repeatedly shown his empathy for European descendant players. His first act of loyalty was cutting former Kansas City Chief and current Minnesota Vikings defensive end Jared Allen's four-game suspension in 2007 to only two games for repeated drunken driving offenses. Many in media were surprised by the move, given Goodell's iron-fisted approach to others, but changed the subject a few hours later as exposing Goodell's obvious parallels with the U.S. justice system may cause a backlash from the warden, possibly restricting that respective media outlet's access to his product. I bet very few of you can even identify this guy. This is wide receiver David Kirkus, one of the biggest malcontents in NFL history. Kirkus not only failed to show up for his trial on charges of felony assault a couple weeks ago, but was never suspended by Warden Goodell throughout last season while the incident was ongoing. It wasn't until the Denver Broncos cut Kirkus for lack of performance on the field right before the start of the 2007 season that Kirkus was no longer in the league. The media, by and large, have ignored Kirkus and his antics. Many argue it's because he's not a very good player, so nobody cares. But when was the last time Adam Pacman Jones has done anything semi-worthwhile on the football field? Matt Jones is the European-American NFL player currently facing suspension for cocaine charges, yet media again ignore this, contrary to their salivation over the legal troubles of black NFL athletes like Chris Henry, Pac-Man Jones, Michael Vick, and I don't even have time to get into Mr. Barry Bonds and Major League Baseball. White criminals are simply not on the agenda in European American owned media newsrooms because one, it is much harder for them to caricature people of their own background, and two, black criminals get ratings because the subject entertains the populace at large. This is why hip-hop, sports, and criminal characters make up the overwhelming majority of Nubian appearances on radio, television, and in newspapers.